Hello, you fine people of the internet. Noel again, back with another review. Um, and today we are working on a request. So you may have noticed here there is a McDonald's bag awaiting us. And what do I hold in my hands? Well, it's not quite breakfast, it's not quite lunch, and it does not come with a slice of cantaloupe. That's right, it's the Big Tasty with Bacon Spicy Edition, which seems to be getting a lot of reflection from my lighting here, which is rather annoying. Um, so, let's start off with the basics. How much does this cost us? Well, annoyingly, you have to have this with bacon. You can't do a Big Tasty um, Spicy without paying for the bacon, just the way it is. Um, but that's okay, so um, we have a receipt here. So I went for the egg curry meal, medium fries, and a medium cappuccino. Um, and this ran me uh, £8.19. Um, this is bloody expensive. This had better be good, McDonald's, honestly. This this burger, I mean, it, it is huge. If I put it up against my face, it's roughly the size of my, my face. Um, and I, I have a, an average size face for a, a, a human in the UK. Um, so that's a, it's a pretty large burger. Let's get into this. This had better live up to its £8.19 is all I'm going to say. Okay, so we've got this out to presentation standards. Um, and let's have a look here. So we've got a medium fries and we've got the burger here just to give size of scale up to a medium fries. Um, first thing I'll say is that this burger I've gone without lettuce just because I felt it added extra noise here. But opening it up, we can see a couple of things. Um, for a start, two slices of tomato, really good start. Um, doesn't it appear to be one slice of cheese, and I thought it was supposed to... Oh, there is some underneath, sorry, I just tell a lie. Um, the bacon is, is looking very pink, and if I'm honest, unhealthy. Um, that, that is McDonald's bacon for you, though, unfortunately. Uh, and just having a look underneath, you can then see more cheese. So, um, I think that's Emmental cheese. Quite a large burger. Okay, so obviously the, uh, the meat of the review is such. First off, let's try a chip. Mm. Still a bit warm, um, to be fair been faffing about doing this um so i can't really blame it for the burger for the fries not necessarily being massively hot um but yeah they could could be a little bit hotter um so let's go ahead and get stuck into the burger here because they quite a big uh big bite this one hmm So first thing I'm going to say, um, oh, there we go. Takes a second for any reference to the heat to come along at all. Not particularly spicy. Um, again, these commercial spicy things are always a bit like this. Um, but yeah, it's not going to blow your head off. Has got a little kick though. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to have another bite actually, just to check whether or not that's true. Mm. Mm. So, just letting that wash over. Yeah, again, you can taste a little bit of almost jalapeno style hotness. Um, really mild hotness. But, it does add a little kick to it actually, I do quite like that. Well, in addition. Certainly not going to blow your head off, it's not even, I mean, I would imagine on the curry scale this is down, you know, this is down very low, this is your kind of like korma, not not heat at all really. Um, but then again, you're not going to McDonald's and getting a burger for, for that, are you? So that's to be understood. Um, some of you might remember the signature, the McSignature spicy. Um, I think that was a bit hotter than that. This is, this is much more straight down the line, not really got much heat to it at all. Um, but actually, good burger. Tomato gets a little bit lost, which is a bit of a shame. Um, good burger, plenty of cheese, um, and it's quite large. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and polish this off. In the so unfortunately, uh, at this sort of price point, McDonald's, I have to be quite harsh on you. So at £8.19, you're uh, certainly competing with the likes of Five Guys, for example, um, and you're almost at the point of competing with independent burger chains. I've had burgers in pubs that are really nice, that are 
not a million miles off of this price point. And obviously you do get fries and a drink for £8.19. So it's not terrible, but you catch my drift. Um, it was okay, but it's not a fantastic... Um, it wasn't fantastic. And I, I think the spiciness could be ramped up a little bit. Um, I will say as I got close to the centre of the burger where the sauce was kind of uh, congregated, uh, it was slightly spicier, but again not really massively spicy uh in terms of, of where it could be uh, in general it was quite nice i think if i was to order it again i probably would order the non-bacon version with standard big tasty sauce if i'm honest i'm not sure it added enough to justify the price point um although it is the same price as the big tasty with bacon anyway it's just i don't usually order the with bacon version so yeah to summarize really uh <sighs> burger Nice as normal, uh, nice burner, quite like the format, quite like the big format with the single meat. Um, good amount of cheese, three slices of that cheese in there, the cheese really hits. I like that. Tomato, love burgers with slices of tomato in it. Well done McDonald's, keep that going. Uh, it seems to be a trend that you seem to have tailed away from a little bit lately, so i really like to see that again. Um, overall, I'm going to give this... I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10, and I'm going to do that mainly on the price point. I think Big Tasty itself is preferable. Uh, it's a shame you don't offer a Big Tasty without the bacon spicy option, because I would quite like to see that. Uh, and yeah, in general, 8 out of 10. It's, it's worth trying, uh, but I probably wouldn't order it again personally. Um, enjoyed it, but not enough to order it again. So thank you for watching, and uh, until the next one, see you again.